I like this lighting, it's all blue. It's kind of cool. Hello, BA. How are you doing today? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's the third week already, holy crap. It's been fun though, seeing everyone's faces and, um, yeah. Um, 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 I can't wait for Pottercast. I'm going to Chicago in like, what, six or seven days, whatever, on Saturday. Holy crap. Yes. It's gonna be awesome. Get to see it. Annette and Devin. I don't think there were very many questions since half the people didn't make their videos this week, but, um, oh yes, uh, for Sarah's question was how far have we traveled to go to a, what was the long, what was the farthest distance we traveled to, to a Wizard Rock show? And that would be zero miles for me because before Leaky Count I hadn't been to a Wizard Rock show. I've always listened to the music and had the CDs, but I've never gone to a show before because they don't come to Minnesota, or the closest place they ever go is like Chicago, so never been to a LeakyCon. Someone's moving. Um, and I don't think I had a personal question this week. So I'll get right onto my book. Which, oh, uh, last week I talked about Warbreaker, and if you need a visual, this is what it looks like. Very pretty, isn't it? Very. And this week, my book is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. It is about a kid with Asperger's, which is a mild form of autism. And pretty much, it's just from the perspective of an autistic child. And it starts out, he finds his, his neighbor's dog who has been murdered, and he tries to go and solve the case, pretty much. And while doing that, he finds many other things as well. It's just a really interesting book. Um, we, I read it for my diversity lit and film class, so... Thought you might enjoy it, I don't know. Depends on what you like reading. Um, I don't know what else to say this week. Um, there weren't very many questions or anything, and... Yeah. Talk to you later. Hope everyone makes videos this week. Come on, peoples.